Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. Yeah. How, are you? How about you? A little hot, to be honest. It's, I feel very hot in my house. A little bit what? Hot. Ah, oh, yes. I feel I is I feel that I am sweating. It's oof. And I checked the weather, but it's not going to Good rain. I thought, I thought it was going to rain today. I think so. No. How about you guys? How are you feeling today? I'm feeling fine today. Okay, good. Uh, Flor, you are feeling sick today, is that correct? Because in the WhatsApp it says Naomi, but I don't know if it's Flor Naomi or a different Naomi. I think, let me check. I think that was Flor. Mm -hmm. Because it only says not Naomi getting, but in here it says Naomi Dimas. So maybe not, maybe not this one. Florida, are you sick? Yes, I think so because she Good didn't. Mark. Good night, teacher. Yes, Hello. it was me I wrote in the group. Okay, I want to make sure. Thank you, Floyd. I will Thank change. You. Thank you. I hope you feel better. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so much. Danielle, you have a question. Daniela Alejandro. Okay, maybe Daniel had some issue with the internet. Okay, guys. All right. We're I, I yes, go ahead, Daniel. Yes. Hi, teacher. Good evening and everyone. I hope you feel better, but uh, good, but sorry, yesterday um I have a problem because I I am in Panama City and the connection is really, really difficult for making the connection. But um, I'm here, teacher, and uh, just in Panama is the 10 p.m. And mm -hmm. I have uh, some difficult, difficult, but I'm here. Okay. It's a little bit, it's one hour later in Panama, right? Yes, one hour. Yeah, it's the same. The same idea. Uh-huh. <laughs> the same. The yeah. same idea. Yeah. Okay. Well, great. Today we're going to be reviewing a uh, Rebecca, just yes, Rebecca. Teacher, I you can hear me. Mm, suave. Okay. Um, I had I had no surgery in this week, and I can talk very well for that. Okay, no problem. You had a surgery, okay? I understand. Don't worry, I will put as well. That way you can at least listen. It's not a problem. The important is you try to listen. If you can participate, Rebe, you try. If you feel that it's too difficult, no problem. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Of course. Okay. Okay, guys. I think anybody else before we begin? Okay, great. All right. So today we're going to go ahead and continue. Um, yesterday we were learning about uh, participles. Participle as adjectives. Specifically the EDs and the ING. Okay. Who remembers why we use ED? 
Why do we use present participles? For persons. Correct. That was for all, when we talk about all the people is ED. Sorry, is the, the ING. When we talk about things, we use the ED, the past participle. We're gonna go ahead and continue today, practicing a little bit. Just for the people that couldn't make it and to give us an idea, we're gonna watch the short video one more time to help us remember the function. Welcome. This time you will learn about participles used as adjectives in present and in past. Please take notes and feel free to play the audio program as well as the explanation as many times as you need to. Page 87. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Participles as adjectives. Present participles. Stephen King's books are fascinating. The last James Bond film was boring. The new Halle Berry movie sounds interesting. Past participles. I'm fascinated by Stephen King's books. I was bored by the last James Bond film. I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. Okay, so what is the important, super important, we need to pay attention is, look, always when we use ED, for the people, right? The people, the people, the people. How do you feel? Your emotions. This is the idea for ED. Whenever you use ING, always about the things, the books, the movie, the other things, okay? The music, how it makes you feel. How is that? That is going to be with ING and your emotions are going to be with ED. King's books. I was bored by the last James Bond film. I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. Before we begin, I want to go over to what exactly is the past participle. The past participle is the form of a verb typically ending in ed in English that is used in forming perfect and passive tenses and sometimes as an adjective. In this section, we'll study participles as adjectives. Pay attention. I want to go over two important points. Number one, do you remember what an adjective is? Very good. An adjective describes a noun. For example, the white cat ran away from John. Adjective, white, noun, cat. In other words, because participles can be used as adjectives, it means that the participle as adjective also describes a noun. For example, the white cat was exciting to watch. Noun, cat, participle as adjective, exciting. Number two. I imagine you noticed we use present and past participles during the audio program. Let's work around that. When we use present participle, we add ing. And when we use past participle, we add ed. Notice what happens here. We took the verb excite and we turn it into present participle, becoming exciting. The same verb, but this time into past participle, and it became excited. I know you're wondering when to use participles in present or past. Here you go. Present participles describe a noun, and past participles describe feeling of a noun. I'll try to simplify it. ing equals outside factor that causes a feeling. ED equals expresses the feeling or reaction. With examples, I am sure you will understand it better. Here, I am just showing you the present and past participle. Interesting, interested. Tiring, tired. Exciting, excited. Now we'll use them in sentences. 
The museum is interesting. I'm interested. Work is tiring. I am tired. The movie is exciting. I'm excited. Please complete the description below with the correct form of these words. As always, write your answers in our discussion box. Okay. Before we try to practice and do it, is it clear how to use the present and the past participles and the difference? Yes? For me, more or less, but I need to practice or understand better. Okay, okay. Let's, okay. Well, let me give you an example. Um, do you like movies? Yes. What was what movie do you like, David? Uh, well, I said yesterday the sound of music. Okay, why? Because I love music. Okay. And so, all the mm -hmm. and all the movie uh, se trata de cantar, I don't know how. Okay, it's about singing. About singing, yeah. Good. So, David, when you are describing the sound of music, you use INGs. Oh, the movie is entertaining, fascinating, amazing, because you are describing the movie. How do you feel when you watch the movie? How do you feel? Excited. Uh, excited, amazed, entertained, relaxed. Uh, these are the ED because describe you, okay. but describe the movie ING. Here, we're going to practice together to make sure that it's clear, but very good question to be clear before we practice. Here, we're going to have, okay? David is going to do number one, Nelly number two, Daniel number three, and then we just select the next ones, okay? Okay, the first one is Johnny Depp is a very amazed actor. Okay, good. Are, are you amazed or is he? Is very, is amazed, amazed. Okay, no, because Johnny is not impacted. Johnny not have the emotion. You see like the movie. Imagine the movie or the person. So Johnny Depp is very, a very amazing. amazing. Oh, okay. Because you are describing what you see, not your emotions. Okay. But in the next example, Nelly. Nelly. I find animated films amazing, amazing. Amazing, amusing, okay, good. Why? Because just you begin with I, but the topic is the films. The films. This is where you have to be careful. Very good, okay. Look at here, Daniel, number three. Daniel? Okay, maybe Daniel is having a little bit of difficulty too. Okay, let's take a look. Hector? Hi teacher, good evening. Good evening. I I'm no I'm not interested in science fiction movies. Okay. You're not good. Only the pronunciation interested. In interested. interested. Good. 
Carla, number four. I'm bored by watching TV television. Okay, good. Okay, number five, Ivan. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Uh, number five, I thought Jurassic Park was an exciting book. Okay, exciting book. Good. Number six, Xiomara. Um, okay, I'm fascinated by J.R.R. Tolkien's novels. Okay, good. Gabriel, number seven. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Number seven, it's surprising that horror movies are so popular. Okay, good. Ada? I was really shocked by the price. How did you feel, Ada? Ada? Shocking. Shocking. Okay. All right. Number nine. Let's go again. Hector? Yes, yes teacher. I always find pillars too confusing. Thank you, but it's number nine. Oh, okay. I I say I I say the mess was disgusting. Good pronunciation. Disgusting. Disgusting. Good. And the last one, Carla Elena. Good evening, teacher. I always I always find trailers too confusing. Okay. Now, pretty good. Most of them are correct. We only have one little mistake. Let's take a look. Good here. Johnny Depp, we are talking about him, not us, our emotion, about the thing. This is amazing. Number two, the same, the movies, amusing. Uh, number three is your emotions, interested. Four, emotions, bored. Five, the Jurassic Park, the book, exciting. Number six, the emotion, fascinated. Number seven, ah, you, it's surprising, good. Number eight, I was really not correct, shocking, correct, shocked. Why? Because we are not talking about the price, we are talking about you and the people are ed number nine the mess is ing disgusting number 10 confusing it's okay all of the words and the meanings yes no yeah. It's okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay. Now we're going to learn more adjectives. Remember, those verbs with ed and ing are like adjectives. In this moment, we're going to learn a few more common adjectives. Let's take a look. Hi, ready to work? Go over the list of synonyms and place them under the correct category. Please listen to the following list. For you to work it out, you must make a chart on your notebook like this. So go ahead, listen and place the synonyms properly. 
Make sure you ask your teacher to double check on your answers. Absurd, bizarre, disgusting, dreadful, dumb, fabulous, fantastic, horrible, marvelous, odd, outstanding, ridiculous, silly, terrible, unusual, weird, Okay, so what are we going to do with our partners in your groups? You are going to put those into the correct category. Um, I'm going to send a picture to WhatsApp if you want, but also here in the platform, you can do it. The important is all of those, you have to find the synonym for those words. So you're going to put those words with the correct synonyms. Is it okay, the instructions? Okay. okay. Only one question. What is mean dreadful? That's what you're going to do with your partner. You need to oh, identify okay. what is the synonym. Exactly. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. That way you can put in the correct category. Okay, we're going to have uh, five minutes. If you're not sure, please. Ask your partner or investigate. We have five minutes to complete the chart. No puedo compartirlo ahí con no usted. Tengo. Try again. No. If, try again. Se puede, ¿dónde se puede ver otra vez el, el link? ¿O dónde lo envió? Él lo envió al WhatsApp. Yes, it's in WhatsApp. Also, it's in the platform. In the platform, three points. Ajá. This yes, is the complete chart with the non uh -huh. uh, Ivan, you can try, or are you on the computer, Ivan? Yes, yes, teacher. Try to share I your my computer. And in the bottom is a little button that says uh, Ivan. Hola, hola. A colocar, a colocar los sinónimos. Uh -huh. Los sinónimos. Correct. Eh, there you go. Lunas. Los eh, okay. eh, wonderful, que maravilloso. Awful, wonderful, stupid. Hello, teacher. I don't know if my partners <coughs> can speak. Uh. <laughs> Supuestamente, <laughs> because only <laughs> only you are the only you are sick, Daniel, and I think I think Giselle. Hey, 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 hello, so sorry because I my I have a bad connection, but I'm here. There, hello, ah, Flora. Yes, it's in Panama. <laughs> That's right. Daniel has some problems. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, Hola. there you go, Flor. There you go. Now you can practice. <laughs> hello, Flor. Go ahead. Marvelous. 
And the Disney? Not watch Disney. Mm. <laughs> Captain America. The mm -hmm. Avengers. Yeah. I, I, no. Mm. More, <laughs> more Disney. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maravilloso. Marvelous, maravilloso. Okay. okay, let's start. Um, Sam is like, like tonto, creo yo. Yes. But I don't know. Huh? Raffle is eh, terrible. Como terrible. In a full. Pone tu microphone. We have four categories. For me, the first one, awful, it is disgusting, horrible. Yes. Okay. And, and horrible. Okay, I see some groups did not finish. It's okay. We're going to try together to make sure that it's correct for everyone. Let's start with the first category. We have awful, which is very bad. Wonderful, which is very good. Stupid, which is not intelligent. And strange is not normal. What about the word absurd? Where can be we put absurd? Stupid. Okay. Absurd is stupid. Exactly. Absurd is like stupid. What about bizarre? It's strange. It's awful. Bizarre is strange. Awful. Ah, oh, strange. Strange. Bizarre is not normal. It's strange. Strange. Okay. Good. Disgusting. Awful. Correct. Disgusting is awful. Dreadful. Dreadful is like a terrible, right? Correct. And which category is dreadful? Awful. In awful, exactly. Good. Dumb. Stupid. Is stupid. Exactly. Dumb is stupid. Fabulous. Wonderful. 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 Good. Fantastic. Wonderful. 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 Mm -hmm. Horrible. Awful. 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 Great. Marvelous. Wonderful. Wonderful. Good. Good. Odd. Like uh... strange. strange. Correct. Odd is strange. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Outstanding. Wonderful. Wonderful. Good. Ridiculous. Stop it. Stupid. Good. Stupid. Silly. Stop Stupid. it. Stupid. Stupid. Uh-huh. Good. Terrible. Awful. Uh, awful. Great. Yes, awful. Mm-hmm. Correct. Unusual. Strange. 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 And weird. Strange too. Strange too. Exactly. Okay. It's okay, all of the vocabulary? Yes, we only need to practice it. Yes, and we're going to practice in this moment. Okay. So here we're not going to do the listening just yet. The first thing we're going to talk about is things that you like or dislike. Okay. So remember, yeah, we're going to discuss like yesterday, the things that you like or don't like, but it's important to explain why. Not only, ah, uh, I like movies, I like books. Uh, what movies do you like? Which books do you like? Which magazine? Which artist? And why do you like them? 
please open the link. Carla Alicia, please ask me one question from the list and I will give you an example of how to answer and how to practice. Do you like to watch TV? Yes, um, I love watching TV, especially series like The Witcher. The Witchers is a very fascinating series for me. And I think Henry Carroll is a very sexy man and very strong. Also, I like that he is a very good actor. And this is the idea. Not correct. Yes, I do. Yes, I don't know this and nada. No, this and nada. The idea is continue explaining uh, the question and you answer what series, what things, all of the things with details. The most important is use details. Describe the series, the book, the movies, the, whatever you do, but use the description. Not necessary that vocabulary, but yes, necessary adjectives to describe, okay? Yes? Okay, so with our partner, one more example or it's okay? One more it's example. It's okay. It's okay? All right, excellent. All right, I see everybody's okay. Let's try a couple more. Here we go. Okay, so let's go with our partners. Ask the questions, practice speaking, and use the adjectives. Yes, I like um romantic music because it, the letter is um I I listen to the letter but um uh, I think it relax something and you what kind of music do you like? I like music, rock, and hip hop, and pop in English because this music, well, uh, this music. She, and not all the time she is talking about sad situations, and she's not like she isn't like Shakira, for example that she is attacking the other ones with her music. She's in for the love and that's it. Okay. Uh, what about you, David? What kind of music do you like? Or now, can you name some singers or groups that you dislike? Well, groups, I don't know the names of the groups, but I don't like, I dislike rock music because it's very annoying for me. Because okay. it's, I distraer, I don't know. I, I don't like that music. Okay. Yes. Uh, explain Carla? explain it i don't like the music is no answer no to explain the, the, the point is i don't like the music because 
we we can understand the the meaning of the music because his son he sing very strange for me and I don't understand the meaning of the rock and it's not good for your mind and your feelings I think for that reason I I dislike rock okay and David and you don't listen to Christian rock no no Christian rock no only only um gospel gospel music. yes but is gospel but with rock only only gospel but in rock no okay i imagine i imagine it's very common i i only i listen only uh Hilson's music I think his name. Okay. Some praise, for example. Okay. Heritage singers. I don't know if you listen. Heritage singers is like a. Uh, uh, let me see. Well, I don't know how how can I explain, but it's a relaxed music. Okay, that's the idea. The idea is practice explaining. This is the. Okay. Uh, this is the activity, not the okay. answer, the activity. Good, good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Carla? Hi. So I was saying as in, in um primera okay. week on the selection national wow. uh, twenty years ago in Willis. Primera Nacional también ahí en el. I am cold too. <laughs> yeah, I love the basketball. It's my favorite sport. Oh, that's. Yes, good. I I play that's... in the uh, Inframen and mm -hmm. Cervantes, Cervantes. En el ochenta, en mil ochenta ochenta, sino ochenta y ochenta y uno. I didn't. In 1981, because for that in, reason, in English, I Ivan, in, in English, how do you say 1981 yeah. in English, Ivan? Huh? <laughs> 80 and 81. 80 and 81, exactly, <laughs> exactly. No escape, yeah. no escape the English, Ivan. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, no escapo. Solo que se me va la, la piscucha. <laughs> 